Hey friends, please subscribe to Moon's Diary of Literature to get any kind of literary videos and don't forget to press the notification bell. Now check out today's video. So in today's requested session, I'm going to discuss the poem Obituary by A.K. Ramanujan. So friends, before explaining or before summarizing this poem, we have to know a few important things about this poem. Which are, there are total 8 stanzas in this poem and each stanza consists of 7 lines. And most importantly, this poem is written from the perspective of first person narrator. So now we have to know another thing which is, what does obituary mean? Okay, so obituary is actually means a notice of death of a person in the newspaper which includes a kind of brief biography of the dead person. Okay, so now let's start explaining the poem. So here the speaker is actually the son of a dead person. Okay, the speaker begins the poem by telling that his father is no more. Here you will find through the speaker's lines that the speaker is quite disgruntled with his father. Okay, so here in the first stanza the speaker is saying that though his father is no more but still he left behind many things such as the table heaped with newspapers full of dust. He also left behind debts and daughters and a grandson of the similar name who peace on bed or who is a bed -witter. So here these lines actually bring out one symbolic significance that as the Hindu society was full of patriarchal outlook where males are actually the earning source for their family and women are used to do the household duties and the girl childs are actually treated as a kind of burden to their family which needs a huge amount of money or dowry for their marriage okay so the speaker is saying that now as an elder son of their family he have to clear all the debts of his father and he also have to arrange his sister's marriage so thus these lines perhaps bring out the speaker's dissatisfaction with his father because he had left many problems to sort out by the speaker as well as many duties to perform by the speaker okay Okay, so this was the first stanza. Now we have the second stanza, which is also a continuation of the first stanza. Okay, so in the second stanza, the speaker states that his father also left behind a house, which is gradually leaning on a coconut tree. So it basically shows the bad or the poor condition of the house. Okay, then the speaker says that his father was a burning type. He burned properly at the cremation. So guys, perhaps in this line, the speaker wants to decode the temperament of his father. And perhaps he's saying that for this hot, angry temperament or bad temperament of his father, the speaker was unhappy with his father. So here the speaker is basically saying that because of the burning nature, burning type of his father, his father burned properly at the cremation. So now we have the third and fourth stanza. So here you can see that in the third stanza, the poet brings out the the reference or the symbol of eye coins. So what are the eye coins? Actually, in some of the Hindu cultures, two coins are placed in the two eyes of a dead person. So here the speaker was thinking that the coins were looked like his father's eyes. Okay. So here perhaps the speaker brings out the idea that his father's eyes were on always money, okay. Then the speaker is saying that his father also left some half burned spinal dices, some burned coals and after the cremation of his father he used to collect the ashes, the remaining ashes which according to Hindu mythology are called Asthi. So actually it is the priest who told the son of a dead person to gather the ashes after the cremation and by facing eastward these ashes were supposed to be immersed in the Triveni ok so now we have to know that what is Triveni Triveni means where three rivers meet ok so then the speaker is saying that he, as his father was not popular so after his death there were no headstones are made which inscribed his date of birth and date of death ok and with this the speaker here calls his father incapable as he didn't do anything on his own. His father's birth was caesarean and in a Brahmin ghetto. Okay, so here part of the speaker is mocking the outlook in which it is said that the Brahmins are the upper castes and they are worshipped as avatars of God. So here the poet is basically saying that though his father's birth in was in a Brahmin ghetto, his father's birth and death were both ordinary. Even these were could not be controlled by his father himself, though he was a Brahmin 
or he was born in a Brahmin ghetto. Okay. Then the speaker said that his father's death came easily in a form of heart failure at the food market. Okay. okay. So now in the stanza number six, the speaker brings out the title of the poem, which is obituary. So here the speaker is saying that someone told him that his father also left one thing behind him, which is two lines in an inside column of Madras newspaper. So here lies the irony actually. Okay. So the son of the dead person or the speaker himself doesn't know that on which paper the lines are written, but he's aware that or he did hear that two lines are written in a newspaper as a kind of tribute to his father. Okay. Now the speaker is saying that these newspapers are sold by the kilos and these newspapers would turn up as a wrapper of something which the street hawkers used to sell goods. Okay. So here it is clear that these lines actually remark the triviality that what actually the speaker's father earns in his lifetime. So now there comes the seventh stanza which is the continuation of the sixth stanza. Okay. So the speaker is saying that this sailor some after some four weeks later bring the newspapers to the grocery stores where the speaker goes to buy everyday groceries or products. So here the speaker he states that earlier when he used to buy some spices or other things such as coriander, salt, jaggeries, then as they were wrapped in the newspaper cones, so he used to read those newspapers. Okay. So here actually the speaker is saying that these papers in which the obituary of his father had written will ultimately sold as kilos and used as a kind of wrapper to wrap something. So now in the stanza number 8, the speaker is saying that though earlier he used to read the newspaper, now he began to buy more things so that in the newspaper wrapper he may find the obituary lines which were written for his father. So now through this way the poet attempts to discover some meaning of his father's existence in his life. Okay. Now in the next four lines means the last four lines he is saying that his father also left for them a sorrowful mother and the annual ritual which will supposed to be performed annually in memory of his father according to the Hindu.